We don't have a thing one thing two tonight. We just have this one thing, and it's a bad thing. It's election season, so of course, everywhere you look, there are yard signs. Sometimes, unfortunately, people do bad things to yard signs. It's a fact of life. In Lincoln, Nebraska, Congressman Jeff Fortenberry is running for re-election. That's Fortenberry. Well, this week, some rascal went and vandalized one of Jeff Fortenberry's yard signs. Someone else posted a photo of it on Facebook, and some other people on Facebook had a little laugh at what was done. Now, as you can see, the first thing they did was they covered the congressman realized with some ridiculous oversized googly eyes. And then a piece of white tape was applied to turn the O in his name to an A, resulting in a just really juvenile joke about flatulence. And you can not decide for yourself if that kind of thing is funny to you. I know I've made my decision. And then down there at the bottom, it says strong families, strong communities, strong odor. See, that would be a reference back to the part where his name was changed to Fartenberry. So, yeah, that's the kind of thing you'd see on Facebook. And maybe if you have a juvenile sense of humor, chuckle, click the like button. Here's where the story gets really crazy, uh, because one of the hundred or so people that liked this post on Facebook is a college professor at the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, named Ari Cohen. And sometime after he liked it on Facebook, the professor got a phone call from the United States Capitol. It was Congressman Fortenberry's chief of staff, a man by the name of Dr. William Wren Archer III, and he was not happy. When he couldn't reach Cohen, Archer emailed the chair of the political science department and the dean and then the chancellor of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. When Professor Cohen and Chief of Staff Archer did finally speak on the phone for nearly an hour, the professor recorded the conversation. You're going through and seeing what I have liked on my private, you, what, on my private, face, liking, on my private Facebook page, right? I know, but what you're liking is vandalism. No, it's not. Yes, it is. How do we know that the thing that was that I that I clicked on? How do I know that that's actually something that happened in the world rather than a Photoshop? Um, you don't. You are trying to manipulate the dynamic of the conversation, and fr and frankly, we have a First Amendment opportunity to basically put you out there in front of everybody and even put put this clearly as why is a professor liking vandalism? We can do that publicly. Would you like that? I think it'd be That's a, our First Amendment right, too. I, I think it'd be a terrible idea for you, if I'm being perfectly no. honest. As a, again, How so? Uh, because, the, because the optics of this are terrible, Rain. I, I don't mean That's to like... Not my, my name is not Rain, it's Ren. Uh, uh, my apologies. Uh, let me go with Dr. Archer. That will be easier. All jokes aside, that's the chief of staff to a current serving United States congressman using the power of the office to threaten a college professor for liking a photo on Facebook. Yeah, I'd say that's, uh, that's bad optics. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.